Now we're going to take a look at PVC, which is polyvinyl chloride. It's also more commonly known as vinyl. And this is somewhat of a controversial polymer because some of the newest scientific evidence indicates that this polymer is not very good for the environment. The monomer is called vinyl chloride, and you might think that it's very similar to um, at the ethylene monomer, which is used to make polyethylenes. And you're right that it looks very similar, except what what the difference is is that on the second carbon, instead of having a hydrogen bond here, it has a chlorine atom attached, and that chlorine atom completely changes the um, the properties and nature of this polymer. Uh, chlorine also makes it environmentally unfriendly because the chlorine molecule is uh, in, its, in many forms can be toxic to the human body and also it contaminates groundwater and uh, that's why for landfills it's considered pretty bad and in fact many European countries in Japan have banned it completely from their landfills. But you'll find that it's commonly, uh, it's, it's a very common polymer used in, in the United States and the reason is that it's cheap to manufacture and it has a lot of properties that are not easy to duplicate. Uh, in the making of polyvinyl chloride, lots of additives are being used. They're called plasticizers. And plasticizers are added uh, to change the property of this polymer. In fact, these, these plasticizers can, can make PVC into a, everything from a leather-like material that's used on your car seat to um, a stiff pipe that's used for drainage in most homes to a glue. So these three seemingly very different products are in fact the same thing, polyvinyl chloride with different types of plasticizers. PVC when burned is highly toxic. So if you know it is something that you should not inhale because that will do some damage to your body. And that's another reason, like I mentioned earlier, it's considered environmentally unfriendly. It's, it's a contaminant to both the air and groundwater. Now, how do you tell PVC apart from the other um, plastics? Well, you got to remember, if you ever see a leather-like material, that's most likely PVC. Uh, other plastics are very difficult to make into a leather-like material. Also, it's the only plastic that we're going to be talking about here which, when burned, uh, does not continue to burn. In other, in other words, it's self-extinguishing. If, if you light a match to PVC, the PVC will stop burning as soon as you take the match away. So that's something to remember uh, in identifying PVC. Um, another thing that I want you to notice is that the density, the density is, uh, has a range of point 1.16 to 1.35. The density and melting point of this polymer has a very high range because th these two properties can vary quite a bit depending on what kind of plasticizers or additives are being put into PVC. But one thing to remember is the density is always greater than water. So if you put a piece of PVC in water, it is going to sink. <laughs>